What is this? Yeah, open it. You can taste it. So, it's porridge, right? Yeah. What do you, what, what do you see? Uh, it tastes what like uh -huh. banana, plantain. Yeah. So this is 100% plantain porridge. I call it cocoa plantano. Cocoa what? Plantano. <laughs> yeah. You see this one? It's what? Uh, is it the buffalo? Yeah, we... Okay. Then, take one. Prepared with plantain. Mm. Yes. This is it. This cake? Yes. Made from what? Plantain. Oh. No. Go on. <coughs> Your cameraman can try it. A soup? Yes. Made with the plantain leaves. Okay. You can see it. Shower gel. Yes. This soup is made with fairly ripe plantain. Okay. This one, it is working miracles in this village. If you should set out your camera to go to town and ask people about teacher Nino Seminan. Teacher Nino, Nino Seminan. Bordiano. In this village, everybody calls me Bordiano. You see? Can you see yourself? It's, it's, it's custom. I have to take it first. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we should drink. Yo, he's the one driving. Don't worry. Oh. This is uh, in Tunkum. Do you hey. see the wine in it? We go to the next one. Okay. Probably the last one. Okay. I call it plantain. Plantain appetition. Hey, we've been able to do this with plantain. We can distill it. Can you taste some? I'm told you are the driver, so... I'm the one driving, but I have some... I brought a sister. Uh, oh, okay. Don't no worry. <laughs> I intentionally brought a sister. So, Jones, um... I don't do application. Just, just small. <sighs> no, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Jones, right, right, right. Yeah, I saw the wonderful thing you did for TT. I've been following you on Facebook, so I watched some of your videos on Facebook a lot. In <laughs> fact, when your people were calling, Mm -hmm. See, it was one lady who was yeah. continuously calling, so I thought you would send them. Then my, my brother saw you said, yeah, the guy came. Go ahead. I've been watching the video with him. Okay. Uh -huh. So, I'm very, very, very happy to see you driving all the way from Accra yeah. to Kumase to Babiani, then you branch for Ankwanta. This rough road, you can see our asphalt road here. Step 1 TV Captivating Experience So it's another day on our channel and today guess where we are coming to you with our interview We are here in the Ashanti region Achuma Mpunya district in the Ashanti region um, a town called Bairabon number 5 and it has not been easy driving all the way from Accra through Kumasi and here um, maybe you can see some of the pictures and um, videos whilst we try to um, come to Bairabon number 5 and I have here um, George Enki who is doing something marvelous something wonderful that we need to speak to him about there's a gentleman who is using plantain yes plantain everything that has to do with plantain from the root to the plantain itself he's doing so many things with it i have george entry with me this morning and um, george you are welcome thank you okay so um, tell me about yourself who is george entry well um george was born in sanso to sanso and i have origin okay turn on off district and from there as i was born and bred there okay i went to school and then i proceeded to college at st joseph's college of education Bechim. teachers training college yeah, st joseph's college of education Bechim. okay and then from there i was posted to manson quanta okay in the amansia west district <clears throat> i spent five years there and i was reposted to a village close by this area 
um called Nipa and Cherimia. Nipa and Cherimia. Yes. <laughs> and I also spent another five yes, close to five years there. And then due to one or two things, I have to personally seek transfer to this area. Okay. For personal reasons. Okay. And then it's been two years here. Okay. By year born number yes. five. I I I was posted to Domia Bra Music. Okay. Uh, I did a busy school, but this is where I stay. Okay. That place is about two kilometer, two three kilometers from this area. Okay. And we use Okada motorbikes, to yeah, yeah, to school. Okay. But this is where we can get network and lights. Okay. So we stay here. Most of the teachers who uh, work there, they've been brought uh, here to stay yeah, here. We all stay here, and then that's where we work. We've been here for getting to three years now. Okay, um, George, we discovered you on the um, social media. You are doing so many things with plantain. Yes. From the roots to, to I mean, flour. to anything about plantain. plantain. Yes. Now, let's run through some of the things that you've been able to produce out of the plantain. A lot. Okay. You see, uh, in this country, our focus is always on cocoa. In Ghana? Yes. Uh, we are always talking about cocoa, cocoa, but I discovered that there are a lot we can do with plantain. Mm. Yes, there are a lot. In fact, we've missed a lot about plantain. Are you sure? Yes. We've really, really, really missed a lot about plantain. And I am glad you are here for us to discover and to let the world know what as a nation we can do with plantain. This area they produce a lot of plantain from this area down to Gosso. Is there, and a lot of plantain produced in this around this area. Okay. But little is being used with the plantain. We have the ampesi, the fufu, the eto, and the chips. Plantain chips. The plantain chips is what we even food. bought some on our way. Oh. <laughs> so in around twenty seventeen I went to the hospital okay. and I was told by the doctor that um, my sugar level was rising and that I should check my the way I eat fufu. It means your cassava? Yes. Or um, is it? I, I don't know, but the doctor told me not to eat fufu. Hey. And that I should also watch when and when I eat, <laughs> especially mm -hmm. in the evening. Okay, so in the evening, don't yes. do fufu. Yeah. Then I told the doctor that for you to tell me that I shouldn't eat fufu at all, <laughs> that, that's a problem. Why? Why was it a problem? Those who know me, knows me with fufu. It means you like enjoying fufu. Yes, I can eat in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. A day, continuously for one month, I can eat fufu. Three times a day. Those who know me, knows me very well that I cannot live a day without fufu. So I told the doctor that I can reduce the cassava. Okay. That's where the starch is. Mm -hmm. So I can even do raw plantain fufu. Raw plantain fufu. Mm -hmm. So when I came back, I decided to resort to eating of uh, plantain. And I said, why not do some research about plantain from the, the root to the flour and fortunately to in our family my father's side um when we come to herbal medicine okay everybody knows my father's root to be uh, well known for herbal medicine so it's in the family yes so i decided to start with the root now i'll consult my father or my some of my father's uh, relatives. relatives and then we discovered that the root either the banana or the plantain okay the root is medicinal hmm. yes but we don't know it's medicinal it's, it's for waste pains the roots yes all right so i tried it and gave it to one or two people and it worked for them 
And I said, wow. Okay, now let's proceed. Now, let me show you something. Now, you see this? That's the plantain stem. Okay, this one. Yeah, or the banana stem. Okay. Now, what we know is that, you see this uh, plantain here? Mm -hmm. When you cut it, you just leave the stem alone. Yes, a and lot then, of them, you go to the farms, they are lying down. Yes. You just rot away and then uh, you plant another one. But I discovered that, no. You see, last year or last two years, some two ladies discovered uh, that they could use this uh, fiber to make uh, diapers and papers. And I decided that, no. The, this thing inside the stem. That's this one. Yes. Very, 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 very medicinal. In fact, this one. Yes. Very, very, very medicinal. What, now, what does it do? Yes. A lot of things. If you have problem as a result of kidney stones. Kidney stones. Yes. And that it all normally result to you having a problem with the UTI. Okay. A lot of people have problem urinating and those things. This is the medicine for those who have UTI related problem or kidney stone related problems. And then what, what else does it do? And then this one also helps those <coughs> who have problem with digestion. Okay. And then, you see, one thing is that every bit of the plantain helps the diabetic patients. Mm. Every part of the plantain helps the diabetic patients. You see, there's a growing, uh, a lot of people are getting diabetes because of the way we eat, the kind of food we eat these days. But this is the remedy for diabetes patients. It won't cure it though. It will if, manage it. Yes. It will manage it. means that this is better than going on medication. Yes. Those medications. Yes. Because this one, if you are anemic, there are certain things in it that help produce more hemoglobin. And that will help those who are anemic. To increase your blood count. Yes. There, there are a lot this can do. Uh -huh. Apart from what I've just mentioned, if it also helped in weight loss. This one. Yes. If you prepare this tea, I prepare a, a tea with it. Okay. So and you, you drink it on an empty stomach every morning before you eat, like thirty or forty-five minutes before you eat. And you take my tea that I prepare with this stem. In a matter of three to four months, you should see difference. You have to first weigh yourself before you you start. Uh, Do you need to be on a special diet? No. To anybody at all can take it. I mean, whilst taking this one, do you need to be on a special diet? No. You can eat your regular uh, food, but you have to check the way you at least you have to manage it. Okay, so it means that it can work on cholesterol. Yes, and then blood pressure. This, this one. one. Yes, there are a lot. You see, I want the medical practitioners watching us to challenge me on this. The medicinal value of this uh, plantain stem. Mm -hmm. Those who are into herbs will know that what I'm saying is the truth. Okay, so um so this is the plantain stem okay so let's talk about another thing because now, we have a lot of things yes to talk about this same stem these ones mm -hmm. they are edible see this one i I didn't, I didn't say it but this one too you can use it for to prepare steam this one this Sa one yes like salad uh, give it to me let me show you well you have you want to prepare soup I'll show you how to do it after the interview. I'll show you. Off camera? Yes. Okay. I'll show you. <laughs> and then you... So see, if you want to know, yes. contact me yes. privately. <laughs> I'll show you how you can use this to prepare stew uh -huh. and soup. Wow. That's yes, one. it's edible. It's edible. And this one too. These ones, mm -hmm. they're also edible. 
Let me okay. show you one. The uh -huh, this one. You can see the raw one. The raw. You see the way I prepared chips with it. You know of like you said when you were coming on your way down here, you were mm -hmm. you bought a plantain, plantain chips. chips. It's a different kind of chips prepared with a plantain stem. Okay. This one. This one. And let me show you how you do it. You see this one? Okay, so raise it up for the camera too. Yeah. This is how it should be. Nice. And then, off camera too, I'll show you how this uh, chips is prepared. Okay. I have told you that everything about plantain is good for the diabetic patient. This one too is also good for diabetic patients. Really? Yes. Let me show you this one. Okay. Like this one. Uh huh. Now you stream it down here. Voila, we are done. This is edible. You can prepare these chips uh, with just plantain flour. With just this flour. You see, this is pure plantain. Okay. 100% plantain. And then you use this one and this one. Off you go. You have your chips. Mm -hmm. Apart from it being food, it's also medicinal. Okay. So when you take this one, and it's also economical because you buy this one. Yeah. But when you go to Europe and when you go to some part of Asia, India, this thing is sold at in a supermarket. Wow. Yes. You see this one? So let's show it to the camera. This one. It's, it's called the plantain flower or the banana flower. Okay. Do you know it's edible? No. All right. You see, people go to their farms, they harvest their banana and they leave this one alone. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Why? More than the banana itself. You know why? Because this one you see here, it says, a lot of medicinal value is good for women only women yeah it's good for women but we can all consume it but those who can enjoy who can uh, actually get a lot of benefit from uh, this uh, flower are women okay the reason why i'm saying that is that it's good and it will, those who have menstrual problem this banana flower is good for them you have menstrual problem your blood doesn't flow well it doesn't come yes this one is good for you if you make it a habit that it will be part of your diet whether morning afternoon or evening you you notice a lot of difference with your menstrual cycle okay you can use that as salad this one let me show you it is not the entire thing. Okay. Yeah. There's something inside that is not necessary. This one is not part of it. So you take these those ones inside and this one. You can even use that as a salad. You mix it with you your mix salad. It with your salad and other things. And then you can prepare it with stew. This one. Yes. Together with the the stem. Yeah, you have hmm. you can use but when you take every layer 
you see this one there okay so every layer has one yes you see okay you see every layer this is what becomes the banana oh okay or the plantain the plantain okay yeah eventually you see this one it's like onion right mm -hmm. you can it's also edible okay you use it as i've said maybe for your stew or for anything okay this is the banana flower okay very very medicine it's also good for diabetes patients as i've said when anything, you take it raw you can take it with no not raw this one like you raw. prepare it i can show you but uh, there is a way to yes go. there's a way you prepare it okay. if i tell people that it is live camera do I tell people to go and eat this one raw <laughs> okay so maybe no um, before the end of the interview i will let you drop your number so that okay. people who want to contact you yes for you to um, um show them how they go about yes. it i think you can call them so those of you saying ah show us show us i'll drop uh, the number maybe he has to have a conversation with you so that he will be able to tell you that do it this way do it that way yeah so the next thing we then are going let's go to the next one we are going to the plantain itself okay now this is the plantain flour okay 100 percent dehydrated and then uh we grind it yeah i, I do everything here in my house okay uh -huh. but apart from this give me this one and then give me one what is this yeah open it what do you see inside let me uh, taste mine first. You can taste it. What is that? <laughs> okay. So it's porridge, right? Yeah. What do you what, what do you see? Uh, it tastes like uh -huh. banana plantain yeah so this is 100 percent plantain porridge i call it coco plantano coco what plantano <laughs> yes you did this yourself yes it's not only fufu that we use plantain for this is 100 percent plantain it is i prepared with fresh plantain not dried one so this porridge yes So what if some do you sell the flour? Yes. For now, I am unable to commercialize the flour because I don't have the machines. To be able to, to be do able to. more. This one is mixed with a lot of some one or two herbs. Okay. So this one too is also good for diabetic patients really yes you see when you eat plantain naturally it will even reduce weight plantain itself like but you have to manage the amount you take but when you take plantain as a weight uh, it will help you to reduce you weight. manage your weight yes but you see you cannot eat porridge alone mm -hmm. so i set out to do something different with plantain again yes you see this one it's what what the uh, this is like the uh, is it the both loads yeah we okay then take one prepared with plantain mm. yes this both food yes wow if you don't like the bow fruit, I can get you another thing to eat with the porridge. Another thing like what? All right, let's go on. So this <laughs> plantain bow fruit, you see, this one. Okay. This plantain bow fruit. 
Now, a lot of people celebrate their anniversaries. Yeah. And they use cake. Yeah. This is it. This cake? Yes. Made from what? Plantain. Oh. No. Go on. <coughs> Your camera man can try it. Okay. Hmm. That's plantain. How do you see it? No flour. This is plantain. I've shown you plantain flour here. You don't add any other flour. If you have time, you wait and I'll do some for you. I do some for us. Okay. Yeah. So, we go to another one. I said I have to prepare bread. A uh -huh. different kind of bre bread with a uh, plantain. With, this is 100 percent this bread yes you see oh mr george why oh <laughs> <laughs> you are preparing everything with planting yes that's what i told you that our attention and focus has always been on cocoa mm -hmm. but we are missing a lot on plantain you do pizza with plantain yes 100 percent plantain mm. and so if you don't want the the crust if you don't want the uh, the flower one, you can come and then I'll get you the plantain one. One hundred percent. Nothing wow. more, nothing less. Okay. What else do you do? Because <laughs> all right, then, but your cake it is so nice. Are you a cake try yourself? No, I'm just a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody asked, "Are you a science teacher?" I said, "No, I'm a, I'm even a science uh, phobia." I don't like science at all. Those who know mm -hmm. in school, I I can only teach three. So this is uh, okay. So what else? can you say about my porridge? In fact, it tastes so nice right. and it tastes so good. Um, you do this yourself? Yes, I did everything here just for you. Wow. Yes, the leaves, the plantain leaves. Mm -hmm. Is it that there are certain in, in it, they call it alantoin. Alantoin. Yes. What language is that? It's English. And that thing helps the body, the skin. So mm -hmm. the leaves, either the banana or the plantain leaves. You see that the olden days, I mean today, if you have wounds and you go to any herbalist, mm -hmm. you use the the banana leaves or the plantain leaves. Mm -hmm. for uh, to dress the wound mm -hmm. the, the reason is that the leaves helps the wound to heal faster okay so you can use the leaves alone to treat your wounds but i have to show you how so i set out to see what can be done with the plantain leaves Please. So I saw that it's very good for the skin. Wow. So I wanted to do something with it that will help the skin. Okay. So I came up with this soap. A soap? Yes, made with the plantain leaves. Okay. You can see it. And um, with this um, soap, uh, with this soap, what does it do? Yeah, you, I'll give you three different kinds of soap. Then I'll okay. tell you what it does okay so this is the first one yes this one is made with the plantain leaves okay this shower gel is also done with the plantain leaves shower gel yes i sought out to look at the value of the plantain leaves mm. and then add it to the shower gel so okay. that if you bath with it you will get the benefits that someone will use this one okay so this one the plantain leaves is a squeezed the the juice the juice and then we add it to this uh, shower gel so i call it yes i produce a cedar plantain shower gel okay yeah so that's for the leaves now i have another soup this soup is made with fairly ripe plantain okay 
with the plantain, the food itself. It is made with the food itself. Yes. You don't extract the juice. No, 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 no. The food, the food. This one. Okay. This one. So this soup is made. And yes. What does it do? Uh, as I said, let's finish with this, okay. with all the soups, and I'll tell you what okay. it does. And then this one, it is working miracles in this village. Wow. I'm telling you. If you should set out your camera to go to town and ask people about teacher Nino Seminano. Teacher Nino Seminano. Bordiano. In this village, everybody calls me Bordiano. Bordiano. Yes, that's my, my, my nickname. Okay. Yes, you say when you enter this village and you say you are looking for Bordiano, everybody will direct you here. Okay. Because they know I don't joke with plantain. Wow. Yeah, from here now to a district capital, everybody knows me to be bordier with everything plantain. Some people call me a plantain doctor and those things. This one is made with the peels. You see it here? Okay, the one that is being dried. Yes, I dry it and then grind it. Hmm? I'll get this one. Okay, so it will be in a powder form. Yes, in a powder form. And then the soup is produced. is produced from the powder. Okay. This one. Now, so we have four amazing soups. So this one is like Alata Samina. More or less like Alata Samina. But this one is senior to Alata Samina. Why do you call this one senior to Alata Samina? Because what this one is doing in this village alone. You see, someone asked me to send some to her. She's in uh, Maryland, U uh, U.S. Okay. I don't know if she will watch. Uh, Def uh, definitely, she will watch. Yes, yeah, she's called Mrs. Osu. Mm -hmm. Now, I sent her some of this soup and gel. And then she, she called me back, giving me good, 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 good stories. The way the soup is work working on her body. Okay, so let's pick them one now, after the other. So which one are you starting with? Let me start with um, the black soup. No, no, let me start with the green one. Okay. Now, this one, as I've said, the leaves is good. If you want to have your skin, the, the, the ladies, mm -hmm. they want uh, a glowing skin. Yeah. So soup. they spend a lot of money buying creams. Mm -hmm. and you don't need that. You need this soup. Produced with plantain Plantain leaves. leaves. You want your skin to be smooth and soft. This soup and this shower, yeah, you can use the, the two. Okay. Yeah. This is for you. Very, very, very useful for the skin. Okay. What else? Now, this one, as I've said, is eating plantain itself is good for the skin. That is why also use the plantain food itself to produce this soup okay and you said this one is the ripe plantain. yeah fairly ripe okay this one is what i used okay uh -huh. in producing this uh, soup okay it's also good for the skin it does the same thing than this one okay but this one the black soup the black soup this is where uh they will just say, uh, teach our home. You can say, Summon and You move around town and they ask, Summon and be Say, yes. Then they come home. Now, you have a sin, any skin related problem, wrinkles, you have foot rot. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even know what to mention again. Any skin related problem, this is the soap for you it means you you've been helping people with this soap yes in the and it won't take two weeks for you to see results trust me i have people here who came here i have pictures maybe after this I'll, i can give you some of the pictures that they came with uh, dark spots they came with eczema that one it will take three days really yes a crow three days this black soup is made with this dried plantain peels. It's not alata seminar. Okay. So this is cedar plantain 
black soap. Yes. Very, very effective on the skin. Okay. This one, I can assure you, when you use it, you won't regret it at all. If you have anybody with any skin problem, when you are going, I'll just give you some, so don't worry. Okay. So, then that is one. for the soap. Okay. All right. This one, it will surprise you to know. Maybe, I don't know whether science can prove it that, but I use this one to prepare a certain special medicine for prostrate. The pills. Yes, the pills. I showed you some when you came. Yeah. So I think we've put it it's on the screen right now. All right. I've, I've seen how it is. So. so this is, I call it a prostate plant because I use plantain. So it's pl a plantain prostrate. Okay. So I just got it over and use, uh, called it a um, prostate plant. Okay. Ober it's a feel it. Ober Junso a feel it. That's its guy name. Okay. Yeah. So, if your prostate, you are having problem with your pro prostate, okay. not prostate cancer, though, it does not cure prostate cancer. But if there is a prostate, yes, if it's, order, order. yes, and every man above thirty-five, you should get yourself some of this to drink because uh, I'm told by the doctors that uh, men above thirty-five these days to get problems with their prostate when you take this medicine then you have you have no problem with prostate enlargement well it won't come at all for you to even get it cancer there is also from plantain plantain the pills the green one yes the green they know the green one the green one and then other two herbs that i use but this is 70 percent this one is 70 percent and then I have other two secret plants. <laughs> that is it for plantain pills. Okay. Now, this one, my, my brother here likes it, even though uh, he is not allowed to take it. Mm -hmm. But he likes the prospect of what I'm about to, to show you. You are about to show me something? Yes. Right this now. one. You see that? This plantain, when you go to the market, sometimes it gets spoiled. Yeah. Then I sought out to see what can be done when it is overripe. And it cannot be used for anything. Now the people will just throw it away. I said no. Now, when it is overripe, you have some a certain smell. Is it the fermentation? Yes. Now, when I just saw that, let me show you this one. It's made, it's plantain wine. They call it isafu. Ah, so it, what you have here is what? Isafu made with plantain. No, but isafu is, you get it from the uh, palm tree. Palm tree, no. Not now. <laughs> I have changed the narratives. So, uh, palm... Uh, tree can rest wow so this one has gone through fermentation for four days okay this is the result can you smell it yeah okay it's serious yeah give me a cup a cup I have to sieve it. Yeah, so let's get let's get a bowl and yes. So this one has gone through fermentation. Yes, for four days. Okay. And I want us to taste it and see if you have if you can see difference between the the normal insect food that you know and this one. So this you, is insect food. Yes. You see.
Can you see yourself? Oh? Okay. It's, it's, it's custom. I have to take it first. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. We, we should drink. Yo. He's the one driving. Don't worry. Oh. This is uh, in Tunkum. <laughs> Do you hey. see the wine in it? Oh. Very sweet. Wow. Yeah. Is there alcohol in this? Yes. So once you get this in self food or this wine. The next step is to distill it. Because the palm wine that we know, we distill it yeah. and then we get appetition. So if we be able to uh, do this wine with a uh, plantain and you are attesting to it yourself, that is it's made with plantain. Only plantain? Yes. You've just seen it. You, you don't add anything? No, 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 no. no. Now, so from here, okay. we go to the next one, okay. probably the last one. Okay. I call it plumpet. Eh? Plumpet. Plumpet. Yes. Okay. Plantain appetition. Hey. Yes. Because we've been able to do this with plantain, we can distill it. So there are palm one tapas here who they still uh, uh palm wine okay so i went to them i did um uh like a drum okay. of this wine and i told them i wanted to come to their site and then they steal it and indeed one mr tete here he allowed me there and then this is the outcome of it of oh. plan pet wow can you taste some? I'm told you are the driver, so... I'm the one driving, but I have some... I brought a sister. Uh, oh, okay. Don't worry. <laughs> I intentionally brought a sister. <laughs> Jones, uh, come. <laughs> I brought somebody. Uh, actually, um, uh, when they were talking to you that we are coming here, uh -huh. I was told that there is some appetition. Yes. So I intentionally brought someone who would taste. Who would taste. Oh, don't worry. Yes. Then? So, Jones... Um, just, just small. Jones, <laughs> 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 My man is testing the trumpet. Okay. Masa nom nadi unom nada. Is it okay? It's okay. Oh, tell me, what is the feeling like compared to what you've been drinking in Accra? <laughs> I don't drink, <laughs> but um. According to the other gents, you know, the, this one, this one too is, it's the same thing. You it's know? the same. Like when you have different uh, okay. taste vibes, it's the same. So, um, my man has tried the plumpets mm -hmm. and I think that uh, you are doing so well here. Yes. And you see, as part of my contribution to the community, what I've set out to do is to buy uh this one the the pills okay and as you can see they will just bring it here after they have dried it i wait and then i give them some token but cedar need help what kind of help do you need for now i don't need any big thing I've been to FDA. You know, you ask whether my products are FDA approved. No. Yes, I was coming to that question. The issue is that I started and is currently doing it from this place. You see, my bedroom is serving as the place I keep my, 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 my things. And then the hall is also serving as a production room. And that is where I also prepare my food and everything. So FDA will not approve that kind of arrangement. So I need a place. 
I have a land. If so, in, anybody want to invest in this business? You have a land in this yes, area. I have a land given to me by this community, by uh, the Omani of Nkarie, that if anybody wants to invest and make this a factory, he's made available a case of land. I went to his palace to discuss it with him, and he, he willingly gave out some lands. But we can start from somewhere. I need some small machines, like drying machine, something that will grind these things for me. For which even have the flour? Yes, the flour and those things. And then some mixing as for the soup. I do everything by my hand. And I'm unable to meet the demand that is coming. So I want people to come on board and then help. Whichever way, whether you want to give me a loan, you want to come and invest yourself, you want to just So you are looking aid for me. investors? Yes, any investor. Or if you are interested, you want to, like, you are a friend. Dash me this, uh, like, any amount. I can just start something small and employ people. How many people do you think this business can employ? This thing. It has, I've given you four different sectors okay. of the plantain. Even there is more? Yes. I have the herbal medicine side, the, the food, the wine, the soups, and more to come. There's some in the oven. Plantain um, hair conditioner is in the oven. And the shampoo for women is in the oven. I am also working on a project to make uh, get a plantain cream. Okay. So I need some bit, as I've said, somebody to come on board. And then we take plantain to the world. As I've said, we can even export the, the banana stem. You see, the flies. Yeah, because of the sugar content. Yes. It means we can even get sugar out of this. Yes. From the overripe plantain. I don't know that, but from this, we can get, as you are not far from the truth. So, as I've said, I'm looking for somebody to come on board and then assist. Okay. I'm going to give you the opportunity to put your number. Okay. Out. We have two cameras here. This is your camera. All right. I want you to look directly into this camera and let the whole world know what you have, what you need, and the kind of support that you need from people. All right. Thank you for the opportunity. And when you came here, you've seen the kind of things that we've been able to do with plantain. I'm not a scientist. I'm not. I didn't even do science back at school. But plantain is dear to my heart. So I want anybody at all who's interested in making this business big and sending plantain to the world to contact me on these two lines. Okay. 0247 23 51 20. 0247 23 51 Two zero, and then zero two four seven, one zero, ten, three two, thirty two, three seven thirty seven zero two four seven, ten thirty two thirty seven. These two lines, you can just reach me on them, and then we talk business, okay. and then we can take plantain to the world, and if you are also doing your your parties, your funeral, your wedding, anything. And you want some of the uh, cocoa cake. or the cake, anything, you can also contact me. You can deliver? Yes. You can go anywhere? Anywhere I can Accra with my plantain. And then I'll come and serve the cocoa for you. Just call me and then have a taste of the coco plantano as you can attest yeah. very very nutritious but 
this porridge, as you have seen, is thicker than any porridge you have seen. True. Very good. So it can stick. You take this one and either the bread or the cake or the bull fruit. Like it can take you the whole day. Wow. Yes. Mr. George Enkri, thank you so much. I'm most grateful. And, that and, and we are happy that we came. I'm also happy to see you. Like, yeah. um, um, I was happy. I was just wondering whether we become whether you yourself will be coming. So when my brother saw you, said that man himself came, <laughs> and I'm glad you came. Okay, so how did you see us? How did you see us? Yeah, I saw the wonderful thing you did for TT. Okay, I watched that interview. Okay. I said that wow. So this is what the social media can do. And I also saw, I've been following you on Facebook. Okay. Yes, I've been following you on Facebook. So I watch some of your videos on Facebook a lot. Oh, okay. Yes, that's where I got to know you and I contacted you So there. You, you never believe I was going to come? Oh, in <laughs> fact, when your people were calling, mm -hmm. it was one lady was yeah. continuously calling. So I thought you would send them to come. <laughs> but then my, my brother saw you said, yeah. The guy came. Go ahead. I've been watching the video with him. Okay. Uh huh. So I'm very, very, very happy to see you that, driving all the way from Accra yeah. to Kumase to Babiani, then you branch for Anquanta. This rough road, you can see our yeah. asphalt road here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see the way we're able to drive very smooth yeah. on yeah. our road. <laughs> you see, you can show them yeah yeah we have the we have videos of how all right the how the road looks like and if this is an area where we have a lot of um plantain a lot of foods coming to serve uh, most parts of the country then yes. i think that government they take plantain from here yeah. to accra yeah so government ministry of roads uh ministry of agriculture needs to come on board to make sure that the roads are constructed very well yeah uh, mr entry we want to give you our pledge that um this is not going to be the first or the last. All right. We are going to give you enough publicity that we can do on our channel. All right. uh, we promise to put this video on our YouTube channel. All right. um, we have a TV station as well. Okay. In Accra. okay. It's called Step One TV. Oh, okay. We are going to put this video on Step One TV. It's okay. going to be on replay. Okay. And we are promising you that we will definitely come back again All right. to come and do part two of this one. All right. So um, we are pledging our support to you okay. and see us as a family, yes. see us as part of you. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. In fact, I was excited when I saw you in that car <laughs> and I, I just, my brother just told me that, yes, this one, it will work. <laughs> because um, a certain um, online station came here okay. and absolutely nothing has come out of it. I mean, my brother was saying, ah, this one too. But when he saw you, said, no. Ah, okay. okay, then this one. Oh, so you didn't believe I was going to Oh, come? yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were very busy in Accra, so maybe you send your boys here and then maybe they will bring the feedback no, no, no. to we you. We decided that, I told them that this thing, we, I need to see it All right. myself, so we need to come here. So I'm happy and hoping that something good sure. will come out of your visit. Okay. And together who take plantain to the world and it will create in fact hundreds of jobs at a go this business can create not more than 200 jobs at a go wow. direct ones direct ones and indirect ones i cannot even count it okay and this month and next month will be abundance in this area okay. come and see the way the, the farmers will be suffering Yes, to transport. Yes, to transport. I think to Kumasi, and even the buyers, they give any price, any just any price at all. Wow. This will also help all the plantain farmers across the country. So I want everybody to come on board. The government, whether NGO, whether you are a private citizen, whoever, wherever you are, I'm available. Okay, we will try and then make sure that we give you enough publicity to be able to get to us. Thank you so much for hosting us. I said, thank you for coming. Okay, you're yeah, welcome. Okay. So that is George Entry, who has been producing a lot of things from Plantain. We've shown you the videos, and please, his number is on the screen. So kindly call him. Any of them that 
you want questions you want to ask him questions <coughs> you want to ask anything just contact him and then we're calling for investors to also come on board if you are a businessman you want something to invest your money into this is what you can invest your money into call him and hit him up and he'll be ready to talk to you anytime any day thank you so much we'll be back again with another video but make sure if you're on our youtube channel subscribe to the channel or go look for step one tv gh on youtube or obibini tv on youtube like the video subscribe and leave a comment thank you bye bye step one tv captivating experience